Hey there guys, this is Sean with Tribe Trailers. Today I'm going to be showing you around our brand new Expedition 500. This trailer is one of the most anticipated on the market today, amassing over 7 million views on social media and counting. If you've been following along through the journey of the Expedition 500, you may have seen previous models that we've shown on YouTube. Today, I'm excited to announce that this is our full production model. At the time you're seeing this video, the Expedition 500 is available for purchase at a dealer near you. In today's video, we're gonna take you through a quick yet comprehensive walkthrough. By no means is this video supposed to show you every single part of the trailer, but rather show you some of the amazing features the Expedition 500 has to offer. Starting at the front, you can see we have our fully articulating hitch that is also designed to spring plunge in for dampening when out on the trails. The entire frame of the trailer is galvanized hot dip steel. It's incredibly strong, but also weather resistant. We have our seven pin plug right here that controls not only the trailer's lights, but also can be used to charge the trailer's battery. I'll show you that in just a moment. We have a solar connection plug right here. If you choose to use any portable solar panels on the inside of the frame, we have this tether right here. You can connect that to your truck, which will allow for a breakaway in case the trailer does come loose for any reason. And then we also have our jockey wheel right here. That way you're able to move the trailer around at ease. Starting at the front box, I want to show you guys this pull-out tray. The tray slides out, allowing for extra storage or a small generator if you need it. Behind that, there's an electronic jack. The jack is used to lower a leg down to lift up the front of the trailer. That jack is controlled by this button right here, which allows you to press the button with ease, drop the jack down, lift it all up. For the first button on the six button panel, you can see it's our side awning. The side awning is an electric awning. When you press this button down, the awning comes out, drop the legs down, and you have the whole thing stabilized. The next button is a pump switch that engages our air compressor, which is used to fill up the right and left side airbag. There's an external tap that you can put your air gauge inside and you can fill up your trailer tires or your vehicle tires. You have both your right and left side airbag. When you press either of those up, It'll fill up the airbags, raising up the trailer. When you press them down, it'll deflate those airbags, bringing the trailer down. This is perfect for when you're towing, you can track perfectly behind your vehicle, or when you're off-road, you can raise it up to get over some of those harder trails. If you're on unstable ground like we are right now, you can raise or lower either side independently, stabilizing the trailer. And then finally, for the last button, we obviously have our body lift. This allows you to either raise or lower the body, which is electric actuated and can raise in just under three minutes. One of the really cool things about this trailer is it is garageable. With the body all the way down and suspension all the way down, it's just under seven feet. The total length is about 16 feet, eight inches. So for most standard garages, you're able to get the trailer in, park it, and you don't have to pay any of those pesky storage fees. Let me show you guys our battery compartment. Down below, we have two 100 amp hour deep cycle AGM batteries. That's what's controlling this entire trailer. If you wanted to switch them out for lithium, you can do so at your desire. Up here, we have a 3000 watt inverter, as well as our solar controller right down here. The solar controller is controlling the 300 watts of solar up above. We have our 50 amp shore power plug right here, as well as our water inlet. This goes to 42 gallons of fresh water. Back behind here, you can see we have a plethora of different fuses, as well as all of our wiring channels. This makes it really easy to fix any wiring issues if you may have them. Now we're on the driver's side compartment. You can see here we have a hot water heater, which is already pre-plumbed throughout the entirety of the trailer. We have two propane latches, one for the hot water heater and another for any of your cooking needs, as well as this yellow tank, which is a diesel tank used for the diesel heater inside of the trailer. So now we're underneath the awning in the slide out kitchen area. The kitchen area is really nice because the entire thing slides out from inside of the trailer and then the stove top and the sink slides out from inside of this box right here. It's really compact once it's all together, but it opens up into a very spacious cooking area. You can see we have one single burner portable camping stove. We have a sink and a cutting area that fits right here on top. We have a prep area as well as a little bit of a storage area if you wanted to put pots, pans, your spices, food, anything along those lines. And then the trailer does come stock with this Dometic CFX fridge. On the passenger side of the trailer, above me you can see there's a light, molly panel to my left, a molly panel to my right, as well as two recovery tracks. On the back compartment of the driver's side, you can see we have a little bit of storage um, from this top shelf and these two bottom shelves, 
as well as a shower head or outside spray nozzle, which goes straight to that water tank. Once we're inside, I'll show you these cupboards open up and then you have a pass through from the inside of the trailer to the outside of the trailer. On the front compartment of the driver's side, you open this up and you have a ton of storage down here. What's really nice about this is you are able to access it from the inside of the trailer, but you can also keep all your bags, you know, stuff that you don't really want to keep inside while still having access to it on the inside. Now we finally made it to the back of the trailer. On my right side, we have a light as well as a ladder for when the body's all the way down to climb up and get on top of the trailer if you need to do anything up there. And then on my left side, we have a molly panel with brackets for both a shovel as well as an ax. Down below, we have a little leash buckle for your pups or your cat. And right here, we have the stairs to get into the trailer. All you gotta do is pull this, lock it in place. Same thing on the other side. Drop this down and drop your stairs down. All right, everyone, now let's go inside. So you can see to the right of me, we have an aluminum etched kitchen top. This thing is really sturdy, really durable, and we love to have it over something that's a stick on or a vinyl solution. So the trailer does come stock with our 10,000 BTU single burner tribe cooktop. This thing is amazing. It's really durable, it's super portable, and we love to have it inside the trailer for those days when it's maybe not favorable to cook outside. Next to that, there is a sink in case you need to do any dishes or clean up after a long day out on the trails. You can see here we have three gauges, one for clean water, one for our gray water, and one for our black water. You can see next to that, there's a switch panel with six switches. The first one being your interior light. This turns on all the lights on the inside of the trailer. Next to that, we have our exterior light. That turns on the light by the kitchen on the passenger side of the trailer. We have our water pump switch, which turns on the water pump, supplying water from those 42 gallons throughout the trailer. We have our fridge switch, which turns on the power to go to your fridge. An awning light switch, which turns on the light on the outside where the awning is. And then the last switch is for the vent above the kitchen area. There's also a DC volt reader as well as an AC volt reader. So you can see kind of how your battery and power is doing throughout the trailer. So we have three drawers here. One, two, and then a little cabinet down here with two shelves. And then as I mentioned outside, if you open this guy up, and here's that pass through. All I need to do to get to the storage underneath as well as the fridge compartment is lift up the bed. Underneath the bed, there are lightweight aluminum grates. You lift up one of these grates, move it out of the way, and you're able to access underneath. There are four different grates for four different sections cooking, your fridge compartment, and then two grates for your storage area. So I'm here at the seating area, which can turn into a dining area very quickly. All you have to do is press that in, pop this guy up, push this guy in, pull down the leg, it'll lock in place, go straight down, and you're able to sit, play games, eat your food, whatever you need. Now, also, very easily, you put this leg back in, pull these latches right here, this guy comes off. You have four brackets down by your feet. One, two, three, four. All you have to do is flip these guys up. Same thing on the other side. The table can fit on top of these brackets. You take one pillow from the backing and then this corner pillow that's right in here. Now, all of a sudden, you have a spare bed for guests. Pretty comfortable. The main bed's length is six foot six inches, while the length is four feet four inches. You can see I'm six foot and have plenty of room up above me to be able to sleep, as well as lots of room from side to side. Throughout the trailer, you have six windows, one in the back, three on the driver's side, and two on the passenger side. Every window has bug screening. The bottom is magnetic, so it's easily able to lift, drop down, close up, and then the top is Velcro. All the windows are really nice as well because they're a hardened plastic, so you're not gonna have any scrapes or rock chips that come out of them, as well as the hinges are able to open at any degree. Every trailer also comes with a blackout screen. All you have to do is pull down this right here. It completely blacks out the window. To open it up, all you need to do is press this button. Right here, you have two 110 plugs, a 12 volt plug, and then you can see right here, we have the diesel heater control. That controls the diesel heater, so when it gets to those really cold temperatures, you're able to warm the inside of the trailer right up. 
And then right here, we have the AC control. There is AC inside of the trailer as well. Nothing up above. Above, we have a skylight. The AC is actually right underneath this chair right here. The trailer has ample storage. You have four storage containers up here, as well as three right here. You can see if you open up this guy, this one is a pass-through as well. So you have enough space to be able to hold some longer goods, as well as some of the shorter stuff right here. Like I mentioned, there is a bathroom inside of the trailer as well. We have a black water tank, meaning that the toilet is fully flushable. You have a sink inside of the bathroom area, so you can brush your teeth or wash your hands. Up above, you can see that there is a vent. The vent can be used to either pull air in or suck air out. There's also the shower in there. You can hang the shower head up, take a shower, and then get right into your nice comfy cabin of the trailer. Something really nice that you'll notice when you walk into the trailer is it feels so spacious, especially for a trailer that when the body is down is so low. When you walk in, you'll notice that you have six foot, 10 inches of space above you. Even if you're a taller, bigger guy, you won't have any issues walking about the trailer. Something that we get a question about a lot is how does the body actually raise and lower? On all four sides, we have electric actuated lift system. So there is no hydraulics inside of the trailer. So wheel and suspension wise, we're running a 31 inch off-road tire with a 16 inch aluminum alloy wheel. The system is an independent suspension system, meaning there's an independent A-arm with a built-in shock limiter strap, and it's all riding on air ride suspension. The air ride suspension can be controlled individually, so you can control your left side and your right side, whether or not you're towing, or if you're off-road, you can raise it up nice and high to get over those bumps, or bring it down nice and low to track perfectly behind your vehicle. Having a trailer like the Expedition 500 and Tribes lineup is something that we're really excited about. Not only is it garageable, it also tracks perfectly behind your vehicle. You can sleep up to four people. You have an outdoor kitchen, an indoor kitchen, and so many more amenities. Like every great trailer that Tribe has, we don't offer any upgrades or downgrades. You don't have to pick a package. Everything that I just showed you, from the awning to the Dometic fridge, comes stock with the trailer. Go to tribetrailers.com to find pricing on the trailer, and then you'll also be able to find a local dealer to you.